www.willvote.com. Yay. Go. <laughs> Go All right, somebody is going to be right and somebody is going to be wrong, and I don't know when, either at the end of today, the beginning of tomorrow, maybe Saturday. I don't know. We don't know. Because you have rules, and uh, the rules in the last two years in Republican uh, legislatures have not changed. Even though they complain, they bitch, they moan, they scream, they yell, they point, they say, oh, it's uh, this, it's that, it's not good, it's not real, it's not uh, you know honest, it's not open. But they didn't change anything. So in p places like Pennsylvania, uh, you still could not count uh, the absentee ballots, the mail-in ballots, until the polls, until today, actually, until today. Some places you could. Some places uh, you could actually begin counting the mail-in since you already had them. You would think, you know, if you wanted to be efficient, if you wanted to be, you know, uh, you know have some uh, 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 production line idea that they you know impose on us as workers we have to produce you know if uh, the legislatures were interested in that you would think that they could count them as they receive them but oh no oh hell no you can't do that so this is where we are and this is what we're going to have to wait for we're going to have to wait for places like pennsylvania we're going to have to wait for places like uh, georgia Georgia, by the way, is a runoff state, as you probably remember, and that means that if nobody gets over 50%, if Herschel Walker, oh my God, how is this, how am I even saying this with a straight face? I, I, Herschel Walker wins the Senate race in Georgia, uh, but he doesn't get 50% of the vote. Well, then there's a runoff, and we won't know who the senator is from Georgia until, what, January? December. I mean, this is just uh, this is madness. It, it really is. I'm just sitting here looking at some of these people, just some of the names, some of the uh, the, the election deniers, the conspiracy theorists, QAnon uh, adherents. I mean, you know, Marjorie Taylor Greene versus Marcus Flowers, and that is an issue. That's a question. That's something that p people in that district in Georgia are wrestling with, sane or insane. I I, I don't know. But I will tell you this, somebody's going to be right and somebody's going to be wrong, but MAGA is not going to accept whatever. They're just not. They're not going to accept anything. Today's election day, anything can happen. But the only thing I know for sure is MAGA won't accept whatever happens, even if they win. Because remember, in 2016, Donald Trump said it was rigged. Remember? And he won. He won. He wanted to win by more or some such crap. It's like it's like um, it's like the Houston Astros saying that they won the World Series. Damn it! In four games, you know what I'm saying? They just want to say it. Oh, speaking of Houston, oh my God, this is uh, this is unbelievable. So they're trying to tell us that Texas is you know totally in the bag and that Beto has no chance and Abbott's going to get reelected. Meanwhile, Ted. Ted Cruz, uh, the sitting senator uh, from the red state of Texas, actually went to the um, Houston Astros World Series parade. Did you see this? You did? Uh, one of those feel-good moments of the year. <laughs> There's Ted in the bright orangey red shirt. There he is. And the crowd is booing him, booing him booing him i'm going to show you something else uh this is not cool i just want you to understand this is not cool but this is a guy who literally chucked a beer can at ted cruz not cool do not throw things at u.s senators okay just want to get on the record there but look there he is ah, and he caught it hey you Okay, guy got arrested. No, I'm actually glad you said that because although the booing was wonderful, that not cool, especially not considering cool. the current climate. Yeah. And I heard some, you know, baseball fans, not fans of Houston, not fans of Ted, say some other things. And I've tried to be like, yeah, let's just temper that a little bit. If he'd gotten hurt, this well, what did they say? Ugly. Were they well, just be like, it? hey, yeah, awesome. Oh no, no, not cool, not cool at all. You don't throw things at people any people let alone you know senators at parades who does that that's just wrong that is uncool that is uncalled for that is unnecessary he could have gotten hurt you could i mean they they he literally you know the guy in front of him 
pretty much batted it away, almost caught it. I'm also glad that it didn't like catch on with other people in the crowd. It was yeah. just kind of a one-off instead of something that could have escalated into something really bad for yeah. everybody. Yeah, I agree. Not cool. Not good. Do not throw things at people. Okay. Don't break into uh, you know house uh, speakers of the houses. Houses. Uh, don't hold their husbands hostage. Don't threaten to break the kneecaps of the speaker of the house if she doesn't answer the questions the way that you want them answered. Don't throw beer cans at senators. Uh, you know, don't uh, kidnap governors of Michigan. Don't threaten to kidnap governors of Michigan. And don't, uh, you know, sit over the, on the other side of the Potomac with your quick reaction force weapons in a Motel 6 or whatever. Just not cool. Not good. Not smart. Not not American. Really uh, something else. Really Somalian or some other, uh, you know, uh, third world nation. Don't do that. Don't do it. But somebody's going to be right today and somebody's going to be wrong today. And when I say somebody, I mean that there are two schools of thought on the de the Democratic side of this question of voting, right? Um, I will just say this. Listen, win or lose, it's better to have voted. It's better to have tried. It's better better to have felt like you were you were involved, like you had your voice, you know, uh, or heard. You were part of it. And then if you lose and you didn't vote, you're going to feel like you were the problem. And you were. And you were. 